Yes, and welcome back on the touchline on to our second session of the interviews. And I'm glad to be having Kenya Lacrosse team. That's the Kenya Women's Lacrosse team members who are on set with me. And on my father, right, is Glade uh, Pepela, player for the team and the captain for the women's team. That's uh, Susan Jepleting Karibuni Sana on the touchline. And for making time on the come and share about this particular interesting sport that is barely... 15 or so years in the country. So um, let's talk about what's coming up next and we begin uh, about the forthcoming championships and how is Kenya ready for these uh, games, uh, Susan? Uh, right now we are eyeing for the days under 20 mm -hmm. World Lacrosse mm -hmm. for men, which will be held in South Korea 2025, July. And then we have for the seniors 2026, yeah, um, but for the time being, we are to keep our feet mm -hmm. going. We have the KPLL going on the league. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk about the league. Has it been? Um, does it provide the requisite uh, competition to you not know, provide a pool of talent for the national assignment? Sure. Mm -hmm. We have several academies uh, all over the country, so we pull the best of candidates. We do the drafting after every season. Mm -hmm so that we do the pooling and then we compete again, yeah. Yes, great for you. Uh, picking on to the lacrosse, I know that the nature of the sport is basically has its um, best place in universities and just like you, you're still in campus. Was it the first choice? How did you pick it? How did you pick lacrosse? It was my first choice, actually. I, I'm done with the university. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I started playing in 2016 when mm -hmm. I was in high school, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can say I started recently but, but many players are from the campuses because mm -hmm. they are mostly in high school. So right now they're in campuses yeah, mm -hmm. and colleges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And having played uh, playing it for the national team, what kind of opportunity does it present to you? I've played in the national team. We've gone for games several several times. Uh, we, we, okay, uh, the opportunities that maybe we have, because we have a lot of challenges. Yeah. Maybe just meeting new people. That's what I can say. Just interacting with more and more people mm -hmm. worldwide, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is not the only thing, Susan? Yes. Meeting people and also of <coughs> getting the opportunity is not the only thing. There are, there are the stuff that comes with it, right? All right, since mm -hmm. we are the senior players mm -hmm. and we are the ones who started playing this lacrosse uh, abroad and competing, mm -hmm. we have the chance to be the coaches, also the referees mm -hmm. in our various academies. Mm -hmm. We get allocated for a certain number of players mm -hmm. and then you go coaching, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so far, do you say that Kenya is knocking on the door and maybe we know that um, the LA 2028 um, Olympics, they have drafted it as one of the sports that will be returning, uh, though it's been there from 1900s, but now it could be returning in 2028. Uh, what, what's Kenya's position going into the qualification process? Uh, we got that, we kind of got that slot when we participated, uh, was it last year or last year, but one, mm -hmm. when we went, mm -hmm. last year, mm -hmm. when we went to Canada, mm -hmm. uh, we got that slot for the, for the Olympic, mm -hmm. and we've been to meetings with NOC in preparation for it, but mm -hmm. due to lack of funding. Mm -hmm. what, should, what should happen? We can, we need funding from mm -hmm. the government mm -hmm. to supply as adequate. For now, KLA management is the one funding us mm -hmm. since, that has kept running since 2019 until mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. But we need the government to chip in because it's not easy running, because right now many people are starting to get involved in. Also players, we are getting more players because everybody is eyeing for that Olympic mm -hmm. championship. Yeah. So when, when you say that um, you, you, you need funding, that means that, um, you need to go for the qualifying matches. Yes. Yes, and how does the qualification pathway look like? Uh, for now, uh -huh. it's not that bright. Uh -huh. It's not that bright, I can tell you for sure. Uh -huh. But KLA management are a bit <coughs> straining right now. Uh -huh. But we just wish for the government to chip in. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, because... Yes, and maybe what you, being in the pioneer team is never easy. You know, you, sometimes yeah. you have to be everything. Yes, right? yes. Uh, write letters and even sweep the floor sometimes in the office. But... Um, talking about how the game came up and in the pioneer team, you right, faced it from uh, the word go. What do you make of the program that maybe was put in place by the founders of this particular sport? You can talk about the work being done by the coaches as well. Right now, mm -hmm. we are having these volunteer coaches from mm -hmm. abroad. Because mm -hmm. right now, it's not like we have that... Uh, 
well-knowledgeable coaches mm -hmm. who play this sport for a while. Mm -hmm. It's just about if we have the senior coaches, these coaches have watched the game and learned through watching. Maybe they have not played when they were younger compared to the abroad coaches whom we get volunteering to come and coach us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Glade does this, but maybe uh, two versions of the game, the original and the tens and the sixes. Which one uh, maybe would you prefer? We know that the sixes is quite fast and, and the tens you really maybe not not really slow but you know it's the other version of the same but it's the mother what what version do you uh prefer and maybe do you think that uh, this particular sport gives you uh the freedom to 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 be who you are while in the field uh, i would say it does because when you compare the tens or the sixes the tens you are supposed to be in, uh, uh you're supposed to, to be in a position. You can't move to other positions. The six is you, you move everywhere. You actually, you play everywhere apart from the goalie who just sticks in, in the box, in the goalie box. But in six is you have to be everywhere. So it's quite fast. So people g really get tired as compared to the tens. The tens you have to stick to where you are. Or maybe if you have to move forward, someone who is forward has to come backwards mm -hmm. to, 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 to be the position that you are. So I would say, Six is, is, is way better for people who are fast as compared to the tens. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And maybe, Susan, um, what, what, why is the women's lacrosse so significantly different from the men's? We won championship when mm -hmm. we went to compete abroad. Mm -hmm. For now, men haven't won any. Mm -hmm. I'll have to challenge them if yeah. they watch what, this. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, we expected them, no matter how oh, well, <laughs> 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 well, yeah. Considering our sizes, <laughs> Kenya, we have a challenge with sizes. Uh -huh. In all what, what fields of sports. Require? What does it require? For men, uh -huh. it's more physical uh -huh. compared to women. Women uh -huh. is kind of softer, but we have box lacrosse, which is also physical for yes. women. Yes. But the one for sixes, whether sixes, whether tens, yes, for men, yes, it's yes. more physical and there's a bit of so we need gym but uh -huh. Uh -huh. to get those equipments to fund everyone to get to the gym and to get that right body size yeah. it's kind of challenging also uh -huh. money wise so it's just beginning a lot to be done right yes a lot. And, and so that i mean when you talk about uh, being physical and not uh, compared to women that's why when men are playing they like they wear a headgear yes. and all that while the ladies just wear the goggles goggles yes yes, uh -huh. yes that's for sure they have even pads mm -hmm. knee pads uh -huh. For shoulders. Yes. And, and maybe uh, now, what's the promise for, for the national team? I know that there are all these, um, you know, a lot of factors that really uh, are, are inhibiting, you know, like assurance, Kesho to tend a game, Amaniaje. To Kayo Nikidogo, you have to hope and believe. But looking at the potential of the sport in the country, what would you say, having been, you know, the pioneer team that picked it up? We are really we are at a better place mm -hmm. we are we have the ability mm -hmm. we just need a little bit of funding mm -hmm. We are. We can compete. We can uh -huh. compete. I can assure the government that we can compete uh -huh. for sure. Uh -huh. This year we are supposed to go to Canada and then to Greece. Uh -huh. uh, actually, on October this month that has just ended, uh -huh. but we didn't get to go because of the delayed funding, or uh -huh. we didn't get enough funding to uh -huh. get us there. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. for sure. And for Glade, what your vision for the twenty uh, for this season, national? You can talk about the leagues as well as the national assignments coming up. We're hoping everything will go as planned, like we all hoping for the best, like maybe getting the funding and hope everything will be fine because we'll need more, more players are coming in. So that, that means more resources, adequate fields and everything. So we hope everything will just go fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah, and maybe to a player who wants to pick it up, what, kind, what qualities um, she want to you to know, become a better player of in, in lacrosse? So long as you fast, first, first of all, you have to be disciplined. You have to be disciplined. You have to be fast. You have to be creative too. Yeah, mm -hmm. you are. Yeah. Uh -huh. You have to be skillful. Like yes. catching up. Like everyone learns. Not, not everyone grew up here playing lac lacrosse. Apart from the kids, maybe in Kuru, most of them are young. They're playing from early ages, mm -hmm. co as compared to us who started in high schools. Mm -hmm. So those people who are picking up from w from the early age, I think they will be much better compared mm -hmm. to us who started. Uh, when we are youths already, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. And that's a challenge when you're picking up a spot later on in life. Yeah. So what but must one do? If, if I'm picking it up in, 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 in my late teens, what should I do? How, what should I do to be better? You just have to learn. You uh -huh. just have to keep practicing. Mm -hmm. You just have to keep practicing, practicing, and practicing. Mm -hmm. You'll be good after all. Like, you just have to be there. When they're playing, you have to be there. If, 
you, ju you just even you just have to even to watch even if, if not playing you just have to watch how how the people are doing mm -hmm. maybe playing how they're doing yeah just watching mm -hmm. and learning mm -hmm. yeah. and and maybe uh talking about the game itself the the there is like um at some point you you, you find maybe the the lacrosse which has the that's the stick right and and, and the mesh yeah. uh in in some in some instances or in watching some games you find like um the players are using it like it's, it can also be like they're sh shooting right yeah yeah and in in, in some way it's just like you you're carrying it along to evade attack and Credoling, until yeah. you yeah. get to the goal yeah. yes yeah uh -huh. what is what decides on fast shooting and just work uh, you know like walking around and, and waiting for your time yes. you see the uh -huh. positioning mm -hmm. you see how you you you, 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 of course, you're with, and you are opening there, mm -hmm. and you have your play, the players you're playing with. Mm -hmm. So you have to see the angle of where you have to shoot from. You can't tell me you have to, sh you can shoot from behind the, the behind the goalie, because mm -hmm. we play behind the goalie too. Yeah, so yeah. And there's no one, one has to, can go around the goal. Yes, you can go around. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. There's no offsides uh, and all those. Uh -huh. There's no that. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. And 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 substitutions. At what point are they done? Anytime. Anything. Uh, anytime. And you can go in as much as you want. You uh -huh. just go take a. A break, maybe one minute you're in uh -huh. again. Yeah. Yes, and compared, you you were at the uh, the sixes, right? Last year in Canada, mm -hmm. what kind of experience did you f uh, get from there, and how relevant is it to you today, Susan? It was quite competitive because mm -hmm. we are playing the top uh, four countries in the world. Mm -hmm. We had USA, Canada, Hodenishone. Those are the top countries mm -hmm. in the world who, that played for over decades. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had like. Uh, Let's say it was traumatizing. At the same time, it was a learning point. Uh -huh. Yes. So the traumatizing. What, what oh, how, six how years. Did you for six years. From the trauma. Oh, uh, first game was with USA. Uh -huh. <laughs> USA don't joke, as in they come to play. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, we were beaten up square. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, and and I mean the coach felt like giving up on you. No 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 no. <laughs> Actually, we had to step up every time because it was during. Was it getting towards winter? It was uh -huh. so cold. It's Even so cold. you go, uh -huh. we we can't yeah. handle the colds. Uh -huh. But our game was kind of competitive. As uh -huh. in the feedback we got from coaches from other countries were like, oh yeah, Kenya, you really uh -huh. have the potential. Yeah, we, yes, Clay. We uh -huh. improved on every game, every match that we stepped on the pitch. We were improving in every match. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there was an improvement. Yeah, and that means that uh, locally you only rank like um, closely to Uganda, right? Yeah, yeah, we are ahead of Uganda. Yes, we talk about Uganda. Uganda and how uh, mostly you've been paired against them, right? Like they're the closest people who play the game. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. For women, we are ahead of them. Mm -hmm. But for men, okay. Uganda men are ahead of our men. But they went for around three over time. Two, was it two, two over time? Two, two, ups. Mm -hmm. two over times. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like for the qualifiers that they had, like, was it last year? Or last no, year, but last year, but one. Yes. Yeah, they had the qualifiers and they lost it over two over times. Mm -hmm. uh, Glade, what's what's the right thing that the Kenyan uh, ladies are doing back here uh, to you know be ranked above the uh, East African neighbors, Uganda, as compared to the men's sport? What's the uh, one of the uh, good programs that are being done by the Kenyan ladies? What you guys are doing? I'll say first of all, we have teamwork. That unity that we, we really play together. Like most uh, most. Most girls, most senior girls, are mm -hmm. from around, from around here. So we might meet up, maybe do some skills once in a while, catching up and that and all that. Uh, compared to boys, most of the boys from the national team are from Western. So every time they have to meet up, it's when maybe they we have in those leagues, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. going ongoing leagues. That's the only time they link up. Or mm -hmm. maybe when we are going for games, maybe competing with that Uganda when, when it's coming here for friendlies. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So uh, when you say Western, means that most of the universities or colleges that play it are from that side, mm, not or even clubs, universities, uh -huh. clubs, academies, even clubs. Clubs. academies yeah. Why is it so? System. That's why it started. That's why it started. Yeah, yes. that's uh -huh. the root. Uh -huh. That's our root. Yeah, uh -huh. for sure. But I think Mukuru started and earlier yeah. than us, uh -huh. but it was but only in Mukuru. It uh -huh. was only Mukuru, uh -huh. but uh -huh. there it's it up was well. in schools. It was not in schools in high schools. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And and uh, maybe uh, Susan, you can talk about the league. You mentioned about it, but now how many how many teams are in competition and at what stage ah. uh, are we talking about uh, as we speak? All right, forty players mm -hmm. per 
men and women, yes. 40 40. Mm -hmm. Each team has 10 players, mm -hmm. so we are playing sixes. Mm -hmm. So that's like that's the four format teams. of the league, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is the format for the league. So we have four teams, mm -hmm. uh, men and women. Mm -hmm. Our drafting is done after every season. Mm -hmm. Right now, we are done with the second season, we are heading towards another season. So, drafting is done this December. Mm -hmm. So, this drafting is done by, for example, we have these academies running. So these players, so we have head coaches, I'm the coach, Glide is the coach, we have other coaches, four. Mm -hmm. I, I get to keep three of my good players, including me, so we have four. And then I let go the rest, and the rest moves to other, gets mm -hmm. another pick. Mm -hmm. And we pick other people from those academies who have picked up the sport well. There are those who dilly dally when they're in the league, they think that we've made it, mm -hmm. but there's somebody else stepping up from somewhere. So we give other people chances. Mm -hmm. So we move towards those academies mm -hmm. and pick other players. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yes. And for you, maybe um, getting at the Olympics, that's the dream of each yeah. and every sports person. Yeah. What, what will it mean to your sacrifice that you've made for the for this particular sport? It will mean everything. That will be the end of it. As in, after I've, w w when we get there, mm -hmm. that will be it. that will be my dream come mm -hmm. true. That's a dream that everybody is working to mm -hmm. get to play on that stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Glad is the dream achievable, and what will it mean for you if you I mean you get to the LA 2028? That actually at the, at the moment that's what everyone is dying for. It will be a very great achievement for us. I think from there, when we play in the 2020 Olympics, I think mm. from there we'll be playing more and more games, many more tournaments. I think, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and so far, so uh, as we we go, uh, the next biggest championship. Why haven't we been at the World Championship? We have. Uh -huh. In 2019. 2019. Yeah. What next now? From the the next year, we're having a world championship for under 20 for men mm -hmm. in South Korea, mm -hmm. July. Mm -hmm. And then for senior women, we have in 2026, it will be in Japan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And all that will count towards the Olympic 2028, right? The more you no, in this tournament? Now tournaments? we have these tournaments that we have yearly. Uh -huh. The ones that we missed uh -huh. this time, now we are. We are ranking, we are going backwards when we miss these you have tournaments. To be in them. Yeah, we have to yeah. be constant. So mm -hmm. from next year we have to be going yearly mm -hmm. for these tournament sixes. Yeah, mm -hmm. world sixes. Yeah. Okay. All the best to the team. Thank and you. uh you the the person it's called the sports fund as well as the government, right? They must hopefully we they've need had them. your plea. We right? need them to support our KLA yes. management. We need them. Yeah, we KLA need them. Is really struggling. Yeah, they yeah. keep us yes. on the field. Yeah. Yes, indeed. The KLA is the Kenya Lacrosse Association, right? The yeah. management here. Yes. So they need the government support to have uh, Glade and Susan playing at the Olympics in 2028, but they have to do a lot uh, today um, before 2020. Thank you so much for finding your time, Susan and Glade. Thank Glade. you. We Thank hope you to for have you next us. time again, right? Thank all you. All the best in your playing times, and we wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. Up next, we'll be having uh, the fan zone. We take a look at the European football more so, the English Premier League, and what happened during the week. Stay with us, we'll be up next to the fan zone.